Hello everybody, welcome back to another update here on Bitcoin right now. Price has been following the plan so far, as I've been saying, we're heading towards this middle line here, which I do believe is a 90% probability we're going to get there right now. Also, if we're looking from the lows here, if we take from the lows here to the highs, we had a perfect bounce here from the 0.31, which we saw in a lot of altcoins. So right now we're sitting in a very critical area because a lot of altcoins have bounced from the 0.31. So there's a very big possibility that we're having some kind of one, two, three, four, five. Personally, I do think that we're going to continue higher in the next few days. What we have to remember right now, it's Friday. So the volatility usually it's a bit less, plus the weekend is ahead. So we might get some more sideways, but I do think the five fifth of is going to continue and we're going to go up to this median line. Uh, if we start coming down here, there's also a possibility and we break this, then we have to reassess the whole fourth wave. So as long as we stay above the 0 0.31, the fourth wave is technically still uh, in and we're going to continue the fifth wave. Overall, I'm super bullish on the market right now because if you come here on the daily time frame, we're still inside this pitchfork, as I've been saying for a long, long time. And we're going to reach this median line. Once we reach this median line, we're probably going to have a pullback and then the bigger time frame target or actually the final target for the entire bull run, as I've been having for a long time, is this median line up here. So this is going to be, let's say if we top in around August, it's going to be just about a little bit above uh, 100,000. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, this is the, the pitch where it goes all the way from the COVID lows. It's the modified shift to the highs and to the recent lows. So price has been so far following it uh, very good now. So I do believe we're in some kind of, on the weekly time frame I'm talking, I do believe we're in the start of the fifth wave. But this is going to take, of course, weeks to play out. So that's why the most important is now here on the daily. We want to pay attention to the pitch work from the lows here to the highs and then to the recent lows and then want to use the shift one. So the next target is here and I do think we're going to probably uh, have quite a substantial pullback. Once we reach 68,000, we're probably going to pull back. I'm not sure how far down, but I do think we're going to pull back to 65,000, maybe consolidate a bit before then uh, continue climbing higher. Then I want to cover Ethereum here. Ethereum actually, I have... Uh, been quite optimistic lately here because you can see here Ethereum bounced multiple times from the 0 0.5 line here. So, so, so far it's so good. It's holding up quite strong. So as long as we can keep the lows, I do think Ethereum is also going to start performing well. Right now, this bull market, Ethereum has uh, underperformed uh, Bitcoin quite a lot uh, lately. So we have to see uh, how the market's going to play out uh, from now forward. I do think Ethereum is going to continue to lag behind, even though personally I'm holding out of Ethereum because I do think longer time from Ethereum is going to outperform uh, Bitcoin by a lot uh, as soon as the ETF gets approved. So we see here we have taken from the picture from the lows to the highs and then to the recent lows. So the target is still in play this median line. Of course, it's going to take a few months before we reach there. In my opinion, it could take until August, maybe even September. Uh, but the target is around 5,000. So it's still from current price. I would say it's about 6, 6 percent uh, that we're going higher here on the daily time frame. Uh, actually, if we zoom in here on a four hour time frame, it's a bit difficult to chart this, in my opinion. So I would still be cautious. You could uh, draw here a, a, a pitchfork from the lows here to the highs and then to the recent lows. You can see here we have the shift pitchfork. You can see once again how perfect these algorithms are. So if you learn how to draw these pitchforks, uh, you can trade it very, very well. Uh, you can either, either scalp this. You could have open a short here, taking a quick scalp. Or just if you have more long here, you can use it to take profits. So right now, this is the next resistance level. We want to see Ethereum close above. So ideally, we want a daily close, but even a four-hour close, it's a sign of strength here. And then the next target is going to be the original, of course. And I do think Ethereum has potential if, in fact, the losses are in, which I believe I do think Ethereum can easily reach this median line here. Uh, so that's my outlook for Ethereum right now. If we check here, uh, also Solana, which I like a lot. I posted yesterday here on my story. Uh, for to make sure to follow my Instagram link in down below. So I took from the lows here to the highs, exactly same pattern as on BTC. So we see here, we had this very perfect pattern that we see basically on all markets. We have one, two, three, four. Right now we're going for the fifth wave. We had a perfect bounce from the 0 0.31 here. Uh, right now we're heading towards the uh, demand uh, supply zone. So I do think 170 is going to be a next strong resistance for Solana. Uh, if you come here on the four hour, in, 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 even though it's going to be resistance, I don't think it's going to hold since we have the massive pitchfork that goes all the way from the fourth wave here. As I've been talking for a long time, for those who are on my Discord, I post their charts daily. So I do think we're going to go here to around 180. It's going to be very, very strong resistance for Solana. So actually, this supply zone is not as important as the uh, median line itself here. So the median line, in my opinion, is much more important than the supply. But the way you find the supply zones is you first find 
uh, price has gone sideways here and then you see a massive massive dump so this means that there are a lot of big institutions here selling uh, because they cannot dump their orders all at once you can see it they have been slowly slowly selling and then uh, price has not been able to keep up with the demand so it has uh, went down so usually these type of zones is what uh, are used as supply and demand zone so in this case i would use it as a supply zone because there's probably still a lot of sell orders sitting right here so there's still a lot of liquidity here so usually when price comes up to this uh, type of patterns it likes to pull back but overall the pitchforks are the most important target here so if you're long Solana, in my opinion we still have much much higher to go so this is going to be the next target at around 180 then probably going to have a bigger pullback that's what we're going to look to enter more heavy in on longs before then solana continues his final fifth wave so i've been saying for a long time i don't believe the fifth wave is here i do believe we're still in a massive fifth wave that's going to take us here to the median line at around 300 400 dollars and that's going to be the exact top for solana in my opinion so the last coin i want to cover now is near protocol that's something that would, uh, went long here yesterday in the vip so we have similar pattern here or near if we go on the four hour uh, we had from the lows here to the highs if we go away from the log scale you can see here near had a perfect bounce from the 0 0.31 just as solana did and as bitcoin did yesterday a lot of coins had the same pattern uh, something to pay attention to right now here on the daily we actually hit resistance once again so i want to show you first here on the log scale so i took from the complete start of the bull market to the third wave down to the fourth wave so this is a pitchfork i do believe that near is going to reach sooner or later i do believe this median line is going to be the target but something we have to pay attention right now if we go away on the log scale this pitchfork has been respected before so you can see here we had a massive top here at the median line before and right now we had yesterday and today as well you can see here near is fighting to try to come above this median line i do think we're going to break it at some point but right now there's resistance so the more times we test it the weaker the resistance gets but that's one reason why near is pulling back more now than most other altcoins uh, the volume is not too big so i think that's a bullish sign usually when you see big volume spikes like here let's say it's usually a sign of a reversal or here you can see we had bottom got a massive volume spike uh, so that's usually either a sign of a top or a bottom but overall i'm still bullish on here because if you go on the log scale i do think we're going to reach this median line here we're still the fourth wave is in we still haven't even started the fifth wave so I do expect sooner or later near maybe might go a bit sideways but soon we're gonna go parabolic in my opinion this one of my favorite coins it's holding up very very strong we also have a massive here head and shoulders so I do expect we have basically just broken their uh, resistance so I do think we're gonna start flying very very uh, soon here on here so this is more or less for today I want to end this video by talking about the total altcoin market cap here so we'll be going sideways right now we see this week we have actually got a bit more green candle than usual so i do expect us to soon start breaking out of this range because right now we're still in chop mode once we break out of this range uh, that's when we're gonna see real alt season so all what you have seen right now in the past few week, weeks have, it's not even close to what we're gonna see in the next few months in my opinion because once we break out of this range that's when we're gonna start rallying and go to one trillion market cap so leave your comments down below what altcoin you would like me to cover what's your thoughts of the market and make sure to join the discord yeah trendsetter whoa league of my own it don't get better no read what i wrote i'm a bestseller yeah